All right, the next movement we're gonna go over is the bench press. Okay, Blade will go ahead and get on the bench. In the bench press, there are four points of contact. Feet, hips, shoulders, and head. These four points of contact must remain during the entire lift. If one of those uh, leaves either the floor or the bench, the set will be complete. From here, we wanna make sure the eyes are directly underneath the bar. What this will make sure is when the bar is pressed up, you will not hit the J-hooks on the way up. It's also important to have a spotter. So the spotter's job is to keep the lifter safe and also help guide the bar in and out of the rack. So what Ben is gonna do is he's gonna take an alternating grip, okay? Blade's gonna count off the three, one, two, three, and then lift the bar and guide it out of the rack. From here, it's very important to make sure that the wrists and elbows are directly in line and he wants to bring the bar down under control in a straight line touching his chest and then drive it back up. Also very important that we set our shoulders during the lift. So before he even brings the bar down, we wanna make sure we pull the shoulder blade back and have a good arch in the low back. What that is gonna do is it's gonna shorten the distance that blade will have to press the bar, okay? And also have a more stable shoulder to press from. So if Blade were to round his shoulders forward, the bar would be here. Once he sets his shoulders, that's about three inches that he won't have to press the bar, okay? Once the set is complete, the spotter will then take an alternating grip and guide the lifter back into the rack. 